Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video I wanted to show you how I use the new Substance Designer textures for Houdini by Powell Kabush to create this sort of rocky material and also combine it with the Pegasus notes to create some textures. So from the beginning I'm starting with this shape from the circle, from a circle, then extruding it exactly one unit to have the full range when I connect it to the Substance Designer texture, promoting the extrude front group and fusing and place placing it on the positive X. So when I connect it, it will be aligned with the Substance Design texture you can see if I have it as height I will have this sort of shape but I want it as a grayscale then I have a gradient with a substance designer tile sampler and then I just blend it with mode set to minimum then using a tile sampler and here is where you you will increase the repetition and play a lot with the offset random disorder and random ampli amplitudes and scale and also introduce some rotation as you can see i have set it to input pattern and connect it to the second input then just doing an auto levels and I can show you how it looks so if I connect it to the visualization node the height visualization this is the current setup so doing an auto levels then I am wrapping a bit the, the, the texture and you can see what that is doing Then doing a blend to carve a bit the shapes. So with the purling levels and doing a, a blend set to a minimum. And you can see I can carve more or less. Then doing a, an overall wrap. As you can see by using a purling and in this case playing with the angle and in here I'm doing another blend to create the surface details by using a Voronoi set to crystal and a purling in a slope blur and then just blend it set to minimum and reducing the opacity to to have this sort of effect then just doing another slope blur in here to create even more variation let's say with a purling so that's our height map now in order to use height fill nodes since we are in a very small scale and a different orientation we will need to rotate this, this shape this volume or this height field and scale it up quite a bit so the default scale for the height fields is about 1000 so in a night field transform I increase the scale to 1000 and rotate it minus 90 degrees so in the end we will have something like this around 1000 and now we can use the new Pegasus nodes to load some diffuse and displacement textures and playing oops and playing with the, the scale as you can see I loaded this mega scans texture then I'm introducing another one if I can show you if I disable the mask this is the the mossy texture I'm introducing in the cavities 
and for that I'm using a visualize with default tinting and doing a night field mask by feature set to occlusion and then I'm just blending the, the two materials as you can see then in order to have a proper range for the height map I am scaling it down again to a size of 1 so as you can see I have a size of 1 and just doing a match size to to have it on the center and I can create a night field output uh, save uh, the texture and in the channels I'm inputting the RGNB uh, height fields or uh, volumes as you can see for red R, G and B and for the, uh, the alpha I can use the height so I can save in, in only one texture so after you save to disk, it's pretty fast. In this case, I used a 2K map. And let's go to Solaris. And if we render this, I am just loading a simple uh, quad sphere. And this is the result of the material. In the texture, I'm loading the texture as you can see. In this case I'm just repeating once and then for the height or for the displacement I'm separating using a separate color 4 since this is a uh, loaded as color 4 for the alpha channel and the height will be on the alpha so I'm connecting that to the displacement if I disconnect it you can see we have no displacement and for the color I'm just doing some basic color correction and loading also a random normal map just to add some surface detail hopefully you can see it in the even with the YouTube compression so yeah guys feel free to download these new notes from the link in the description I will link the author page on github and if you want this particular file, you can also find it on my Patreon uh, alongside with dozens of project files and uh, some tutorials, some exclusive tutorials and also some courses in the Patreon shop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.